<clears throat> What's up, Jabrosa? We're about to get another reaction today. We're hopping into Glee episode number seven, season number four, called Dynamic Duets. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction, uncut episode. If you want to, if you don't, that's totally cool. Episodes will be here on YouTube whenever they show up. So, uh, yeah, previous episode was continuation of the Grease stuff with Finn, and it was the Rachel and Kurt came into town to watch it. Um, Sue had her whole stuff with Wayne slash Unique. I'm not sure what he's. I'm not sure what he's going by. I think it's unique, but I can't remember. Um, and you know, Sue was being a pain in the ass. Uh, Finn and Rachel were like, I don't don't even want to be next to her. She Finn doesn't even want to be associated with Rachel in any way. What else do we have? Boosters leaving. Yeah, so we're gonna have every good time. Here you go. The Secret Society of Superheroes Club is now in session. It is the purpose of this club to fight How for justice, this? to right all of that which is wrong, and to preserve truth, justice, and peace in the halls of McKinley High. What's First happening? order business. Roll call. Go. Asian persuasion here. My superpower. Asian persuasion. Manipulation. Blonde chameleon here. My superpower is I can impersonate anybody. George W. Bush. Hey. Tarantula head here. My superpower is lashing you with my treads. What's Sweet happening? And spicy. Here. My superpower is money. Second order of business, inducting new members into our ever swelling ranks. Candidates, come forth. Excited to be here, Blaine. Hey. First of all, there are no civilian identities in here, okay? <laughs> Professor X? I'm Nightbird. Excited to be here, Blaine. Avenger. And second of all, I really hope you're not trying to pass yourself off as a certain telepathic leader of a certain group of superhuman mutants because that would be a copyright violation. And persuasion, this account is only supposed to be for emergencies. And you cannot use your powers of manipulation to coax me into getting back with my ex, so stop trying. Kurt would have to. Emergency choir room. Kurt would have to take you back. It seemed like you're really into them, and then totally blow them off. You know what, dude? I don't remember asking for your opinion. Guys, fight, fight, whoa. fight. Whoa, you're really intimidating. Let me ask you a question. What kind of a name is Ryderlin anyway? Because it sounds like your parents named you after a cowgirl doll who comes with her own pony. Look, man, I don't want any trouble. I know you're a badass. You want to know how I know you're such a badass? Because you ride a Razor scooter. Nothing <laughs> says I'm a badass like a Razor scooter. Guys, please. Oh, fight, 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 this, fight, this fight. Stop. Hey. Hey. Oh, my God. Why are you... Why are you dressed Please, like Schuster? Stop fighting immediately. Please, bitches. Uh, all the costumes of the world's nations. Nice. <laughs> Wait, you that's your idea? Yeah. Kiki, what do you think? I think. I don't think we stand a chance. Wait, where are okay, you Okay, but don't walk out. Give right. ideas. We're going to get our trophy back from the Warblers. Uh oh. The one you haven't even noticed is missing? Mm. No! Crap. Uh... So, who exactly are you supposed to be? I'm the Beastmaster. Nice. Blaine said I couldn't be faculty advisor unless I dressed up once a week. So, I'm from the planet Testosterogen. I can. I'm no longer the leader. Are you doing Flash? Is that why you're not the leader? <laughs> uh, I knew they'd send you. Really? With the cat? I'm going to answer the obvious questions. I'm Hunter Clarington. I'm the new captain of the Warblers, and I'm not even remotely by curious. How are you captain of the Warblers? <laughs> I've never seen you before. Simple. What? You have to just randomly say that. Dalton just gave me a full scholarship <laughs> to move here from Colorado Springs and have its Nationals trophy back when you rejoin the Warblers. And he said your I little diversities club. Day. Holy shit. I this guy's. Be with Kurt, right? Ooh, he knows your story. I hear they even call you Blaine Warbler. They know you don't belong there. So why don't you? We all know the real Blaine. Uh, <laughs> the real. Driven. You're a golden really? boy. Present the blazer. Ooh. That's not going to work on me. Then why be afraid to try it on? Ooh, it's going to feel good, right? <gasps> Ooh, it feels good, doesn't it? Oh my God, how did you do? What the hell is happening? Feels good, doesn't Here's the it? Thing, Blaine. Oh, he needs the beat, and he's just like, time to get into it now. There's a play. Duets. The rest of you will start preparing to fight an epic battle 
against the forces of evil at we're doing two duets only two duets oh we need slightly better we need more than two duets i want more than two duets though oh here's kitty yeah isn't part of the assignment that we have to pick us i love together? that song assignment is dynamic duets i love that song of choosing a song to show off my vocal bombacity while at the same oh, time oh man if we're doing holding off for a hero can we at least that song is fire heroes we're gonna be you can talk all you want but i already decided i'm femme fatale stud won't complain oh hold, hold on did you mega stud you just call yourself mega stud that's my alter ego so your superhero choice is to be me <laughs> what are they doing I don't know this song either, man. I know you don't love that guy. We're really just fighting. Oh, damn. Dude, that dude's head is fucked. I know that. We're both just fighting over Marley. Oh, my God. You're like so stupid. <laughs> You're like so. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was just gonna text you. How's Operation Rescue Recovery been too? When Pyro left the X Men, why is this thing? Why is this thing cut? Right, like this is edited weird. Why is this before the other scene? Along with the Warlords, dude. No, no, you belong here with us. Okay, we, we're uh, a dynamic duo in here. I understand that. Finn, and now that he's gone, I just I feel like I'm floating. Yeah, the reason you came to the school was Kurt, and now he's gone, and do you even really even have true friends here? Like you bonded more with the older ones. The warblers are my birthright. Your birthright? What the fuck? Okay. Please now. I've done it every day this week. What the fuck? I thought you were better than that. I thought Ryder got to you, and you were good. My good friends, the Finger Sisters, Pointy and Birdie. Helped me keep the trim figure I retained to this day. <laughs> the finger sisters. Sweetie, you have to trust me on this. Ugh, no. Nah. Try on our costumes, and I swear, if you look fat even a little bit, promise. Promise. Just throwing up every day. No, don't do that. How come we're not seeking the counselor's help? I feel like, oh god, evil. Ugh. Please tell me that's. Please tell me that's new. No, man. Is that a jockstrap? Is that new? He's telling me it's a new jock strap and not a, new, a used one. What's that? What we did though? Did he tell that to Finn? Me, yeah. Well, I don't know about you, but this kitty cat's feeling so. I thought you were gonna be a Finn. She slipped into her tightest outfit as. Oh shit! Of all the outfits, though, you didn't have to wear that one. You could have wore something else. It's supposed to be wallflower. Hot. Or are you being kind of nice? Your mom made this, right? Like she does most of your stuff? Uh -huh. Well, bless her clogged, overworked heart. But from now on, I'm buying your clothes. And they're going to show up. When I hear the song, I think of Short Circuit. <laughs> Johnny Five. Johnny Five Alive. Not bad. Solid. I don't understand why Kitty's helping and being as nice right now. Because, you know, she keeps giving these evil looks. Smell raspberry. Academy. Oh, yeah, y'all think it's so funny now. Boo hoo that. He's been taken by the dark side. You're not gonna boo hoo that. You guys over here and you get boo hoo. Yes. Finn, there's some minute. You know, I could spell, but I don't. I mean, I would fail that first part. You gotta give so, me a second. Then, flowers. The little weight. Pounds this month. Well, I knew it was something. You being nice. You look great. Oh, look at you being nice. Where's oh, Kitty to ruin it? Marley would kill me for telling you this, but she talks about you all the time. Dump truck. Damn, you're a dick. Oh, and your new name is officially Kosher Cappuccino. <laughs> and hit it with the you tray. This so easy when there's only two of you. Well, why don't you count again, sweetheart? It's payback time. Payback hey. for what? That's weird. That's fuck. This is what you do now. This is weird. What's up, half bro? With the app, bro? Hey, man. Uh, where are you? It sounds really what a weird fucking episode. <laughs> like decent stuff, but like the superhero stuff is kind of so. I hate to do this, but I have to reschedule our date on Friday. What? How about next Friday? Well, I'm sorry. 
I'm s I'm sorry. Why is Marley being dead? What the hell? Ouch. What do you mean? Oh you God, mean? stop. Go There's no that, way. Buddy. Sounded an awful lot like I'm not that into you. Well, he has to get up early to call. Stat. You know what? Yeah, the old seven. Marley would have sat home alone Stand on Friday night, but the new superheroine Marley's not gonna wait around. What the fuck is happening? What what just happened? Hi. What are you doing Friday night? Uh going on a date with you. Good. What the fuck? Are we supposed to be on your side right now? Cause no shot in hell I am. Nah, fuck that. I'm not on your side here. Guys, it was epic. Dalton was like Death Star meets Mordor meets Temple of Doom. I mean it might be exact. This is, uh, this is really good. I like this one. Mm. Not bad. Pretty damn good. Okay. Well, damn. That was episode number seven, season number four. When was the writer's strike? It was a writer's strike, right? What was that? I'm about to look those up. I'm curious now. Uh, writer's strike. 2000. It says, it says eight TV shows that were creatively altered by a writer's strike. Writer's strike. All right. Nope, the writer's strike didn't happen. It happened in 08. I don't know, man. This, it feels like they don't know what the show is right now. They are, they, there is no direction for this show. Kind of crazy because, you know, the one, like, they're, you know, they're the new directions, but there is no direction. There's no direction for, and for characters, there's no direction for the, the, show like the only person that legit has direction kind of is finn everybody else this just seems like we're just gonna have them do whatever we want them to do this episode you know if it doesn't match their personality we're just gonna have them do it anyway fuck it like marley has become very unlikable i don't like marley like marley i don't know at first i was like i was kind of cool with her but She's influenced. She's too gullible. Like she's influenced by an evil person that we know is evil. It's like it's different if she didn't know, but she f clearly knows. She knows, and she doesn't care, like at all. <laughs> like Kitty is the most evil person, and she says and does evil shit to you all the time. Yet you keep trusting her. Explain that to me. Like how? How, if, like, who was it? Uh, Tina, right? She was the one that was like, shouldn't we vote if she, if she can come into the thing? At least they brought that up. Because, like, she's evil, right? Kitty, and I'm just like, okay. Then the thing at the end with Marley, I'm like, my man tells you he's dyslexic or whatever. He has dyslexia. And he has to go to thing. And Marley has the audacity to be upset. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not... Most people, they're not using dyslexia as an excuse as to why they can't go out with you. They'll come up with something else if they don't like you. Like any other excuse, right? He gives you all, he gives you legit reasons. He uses this, his dyslexia. He uses that as a thing. And you think he's making up an excuse because Kitty came and says whatever. And we're supposed to believe that the song holding up for a hero empowered you to be this person who has no feelings and says, fuck him and let's go to Jake. What? What is that? What is that for a character? Like that doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Maybe I'm a dumbass. Maybe I'm an idiot. Cause I looked at that and I'm just like, what, what, what? I'm like, that, that's confusing, bro. How is that your character? You know, I like the Finn stuff. That was cool. Finn trying to figure, you know, still trying to figure out, get used to this, dressing like Schuster, all that. 
Blaine Warbler, that you know, that whole thing was fine, I guess. He his only reason for being at school at the at McKinley was because of Kurt and he's not there. So it makes sense why he would wanna leave. So that's a solid story. Um actually would have probably would have preferred if he did leave. Not because I don't love Blaine, but because I think it'd be a better story than Blaine just staying here. Uh the superhero shit was pointless. I that that shit was so random to me. I don't understand a lick of what that superhero story was about. I truly do not understand it. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, their whole superhero thing, uh, it was random. Um, there literally anything else. Kitty sucks. So, there were two standout songs, though. That ending song and then Holding Up for a Hero were really good. Um, every other one was good, too. I just don't know the songs. But the two that I knew that I was digging were those two. Um, Sam needs to sing more. He's so good. They have so many good singers. But yeah, that's how I felt, man. I don't know. I kind of feel like the show doesn't know what it wants to be. It's kind of lost right now, and it needs to find itself. The show's too good to be this lost. So yeah, that's my reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it.